So if there's one day where you, you see that most of my clients are attending, then stick with that day and then maybe cancel the other one for now. Okay. And then once, once you max out that day, then you can offer it a different day. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, you can offer it as an extra or you can offer it as a completely different group. Okay, so what's important is to have a limit on your group. So if, if for example, you, the group that you're starting to set up, it, you know, you only want to work with a maximum of 20 players. Once you've maxed that group out, what you do is you put any new parents on a waiting list and then you offer a new day. Yeah. Okay. Because if the Wednesday is really successful, then there's no point cancelling it because you know all your all your players are going to be there. Yeah. Okay. This is what this is the problem I did at the beginning. I was when I started my business, I was offering so many different days, but then it was good. It was you know there was one day where I was only getting a handful of players. There was other days where I had everyone. So what I did is I said to parents, listen, you know, we're going to cancel the Monday, Tuesday, and we're just going to run the Saturday morning. And, you know, everyone, if it's, if it's a priority for parents, they'll make time for you. Yeah. Okay. And then everyone just attending Saturdays. And essentially that's what I do now at the moment with my business. I run all my group sessions one day a week which is saturday mornings and i run them just, back to back i'm oh, sorry did you say just once a week yeah 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 once a week so i have got currently i've i don't do one-on-one -on -one training anymore because i do all i do it all in groups but i train once a week and i've got three groups at the moment but i do them back to back and then that's all my training done for the week. The rest of the week, I can I can focus on selling, marketing, and just getting more clients and building those groups. You know, the, the problem I faced at the beginning is I, I thought in my mind, right, I need to be training every single day. Yeah. No. Uh, and it is, And I found out very quickly, not only do you get burnt out, but also yeah. you've once you finish training, you've got no time to do anything else. So transition, no yeah, no energy. And also you kind of like start to hate what you're doing. Mm. So I transitioned <clears throat> it all to one day. Some parents couldn't make the Saturday, which I said, you know what? I'm willing to take a hit because I know that there's going to be other parents in my area that can make those days. You know, so I lost half of my clients at the beginning. Oh, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. I lost half of them. But with time, I gained, been... I gained new ones. Oh, wow. Yeah. That is... Uh... But it, was, it wasn't because they didn't like what I was doing, but it was just because they couldn't commit to that day. Yeah, yeah, same. I have yeah. the same issue. So I said to them, listen, that's, that's all I can offer at the moment. I can keep you guys on a waiting list. If I off, if we go back to offering other days during the week, I'll get in contact with you. But, you know, I have a family and I can't be on the training pitch, you know, Monday to Friday anymore. So I, yeah. I transitioned everything to Saturday mornings. That's when I do my group sessions. Once that's done, I can focus on the admin, the marketing, the parent complaints um and all and all of those things <laughs> oh, yeah it's a full-time job it, it, it is yeah it's because a full-time job phone calls you have to deal with their problems payments yeah. Yeah. and uh complaints, yeah yeah but imagine if you're training every single day you're not going to have time to do all of those things especially if you're if you're if you're doing the if you're running the business by yourself, if you're doing the training, you're doing the marketing, you're doing the selling. Yeah. You know, if you're doing all of that, then you have to build the build the system in a way where it allows you time to do the different things, which means right, training one day per week, 
And then everything else, Monday, I can focus on marketing. Tuesday, I can focus on my sales calls. Uh, Wednesday, I can focus on going out and maybe doing some promotional events at schools or local organizations to try and build my brand. You know, Thursday, volunteering at a local club to see if I can gain some more interest from parents or, or coaches, you know, more exposure. You know, yeah. Was that was well, that too that, much information? 